They are not closing our damn plant without one hell of a fight. The best known face of Canadian labour, former longtime head of Unifor, Jerry Dias, now mired in scandal. The investigation found that Dias accepted money from a supplier of COVID-19 rapid test kits that he had introduced to employers of Unifor members. Unifor alleges Dias accepted $50,000 from a test supplier. He allegedly gave half to a colleague who filed a complaint. Dias released a statement shortly before Unifor revealed the details. This past December, my life took a remarkable turn for the worse when I was confronted with a debilitating sciatic nerve issue. It's hard for me to say this, but my coping mechanism has been painkillers, sleeping pills, and alcohol. These factors have impaired my judgment in recent months. I am entering a residential rehabilitation facility. Last month, Dias went on medical leave, then announced his retirement earlier this month. He did not respond to interview requests from Global News. Unifor is Canada's biggest private sector union and represents some Global News employees. The union says what happened is an isolated incident. Asked whether police will be investigating. We have sought outside counsel throughout this process to guide us to obviously getting an external investigator. Do the police have enough to go ahead and implement criminal charges? Um, it's yet to be determined. But it would not surprise me at this time because the amount is so significant. Daya stands charged with violating Unifor's code of ethics. In his statement, he said he, quote, was always guided by the principles set out in our constitution. The next step will be a hearing, but so far, Daya says he hasn't participated in the investigation on his doctor's advice. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.